my channel what's my intro again hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is lumi you can call me lulu you can call me mimi you can call me lumi you can call me whatever floats your boat oh i haven't said that in a hot minute it's nice to have a change of environment so back home i literally just got back today um had to tidy up my room because my room was a mess i don't know if this is like anyone else but once you leave for uni like your family uses your room as like a storage room i'm just gonna take this time to wrap up some christmas presents <laughs> once I give you the tea you'll realize that your perfume is not just exaggerating because I feel like people think I, I'm an exaggerator like that's my only purpose but I promise you anyways so I'm just gonna let my eyebrows dry and then put on my lash hey guys it's the morning of the next day and I'm tired um, it's Wednesday, so it means I'm halfway through. And, um, yeah, I don't think I ever want to do this again. Okay, guys, so I just got off my break. I'm going to go back down now. Um, this is my fit. Yeah. Bye. Hey guys, so I am currently at Morrison's. I'm at the car park now. Um, I think I walked faster today because like, I left at the same time that I did yesterday and I'm here 10 minutes earlier. So I'm just gonna chill out here for a bit before I go in. So yeah, I'll see you guys later, bye. Okay guys, so I am in the alcohol aisle, so I have a bottle of vodka here, put it on, close it, and it doesn't come off. And I'm just putting them in the respective places. Looks like me and my turkey. Say hi. So you guys are probably wondering, ooh, change of scenery. Um, what is this place? This is 
this is where the, <laughs> this is the bathroom. Welcome. You're in my cabinet right now. So this is like, um, oh my gosh. Uh, this is like Vogue's, th that makeup thing that Vogue does and they do it in the bathroom. Yeah, this is like that. So welcome. Today we are going to be changing my piercing because I don't know if you can see that, but my piercing fell out and you can't even see the hole. So I have one that's still in, one that's out, and I can't find the piercing. I could only see the ball. So like I can't find the actual stalk of the piercing. I can only see the ball, which is the end of it. And you know, I've already screamed about it for the past hour and you know, flipped everything in my room. So it's past the six weeks anyways. They told me that I should leave my piercing in for six weeks before I change it. It's going on about seven, seven weeks, eight weeks now. The day is the 28th. Is that, isn't that eight weeks? Okay, so I just had to ask Siri what eight weeks from the date of my piercing was, and that would be tomorrow. Tomorrow is the 28th, so today's the 27th. I'm so confused. I think Siri's telling me the wrong days. I think Siri thinks we're in 2021. Oh gosh, let's do that again. So Siri thought we were in 2021. Um, I guess it's my fault for not specifying. I think she's done with this year too. Yeah, no, no blame there. So that's today, today marks eight weeks. So I guess it is time for these piercings to come out anyways, but I wanted to get new jewelry to put in there, but I'm gonna have to use these, my P studs, because, right, I came home for the holidays, so I didn't bring like my jewelry. My box of earrings is still at my accommodation. Like everything is still at a calm, so. This I actually found in my jacket pocket and I'm just so lucky that's in there because I want to use like a a good jewellery so I don't develop like kilos or develop a bad reaction to you know an earring that is is not good quality so I'm so scared to put this person in guys because this one hurts so bad I can't even see the hole, like that's the scary part. So I'm just wondering when on earth did it fall out? Ah! Guys, I put it in. Ow, ow, ow. Now I have to take this one out. I don't even want to take it out because this hurts. <laughs> I'm not ready to take them out. I'm not ready to take them out. I'm such a like bad person when it comes to pain. <laughs> I don't like pain. I try to avoid it wherever possible. And yeah, see my second piercing feels fine. This one hurts because it's been hurting for the longest time. And uh, it, this was just the wrong piercing to fall out in my sleep. It was the wrongest one. I think if I had it by my choice, I would never have taken those piercings out because I'm just too scared, too scared of pain. I just, I don't like pain. I'd rather avoid it where possible or discomfort in any way I'd rather avoid it so yeah um, I'm still gonna be cleaning my piercings because I still feel like they're fresh you know they've been eight weeks which is even more than the recommended time that the uh, piercer told me to leave them in for she said I could take them out at six weeks and it's been eight weeks but I just yeah I don't know how you people with piercings do it you just get bare piercings and then you're switching up the earrings already that's scary um, I do want to do double hoops, so I have to go out and buy those. <clears throat> okay guys, so welcome to, um, welcome to Mimi's kitchen. You already know what it is, you know how we do. Today, today we're hungry and we're just trying to whip something up. So today I'm going to be making leftover turkey udon noodles. Yeah, yeah, is that... Yeah. So basically what you're gonna need is leftover turkey from Christmas dinner or whatever, whatever you celebrate. I celebrate Christmas. So that's why I have the leftover turkey. Also don't mind me, I am in my new robe. It says queen, that's what my daddy calls me. So um, yeah, 
I feel like my YouTube videos would be so, so much better if I had an American accent. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like, you know, if I just sound like American, it's like, you know, I'll try to perfect my American accent, okay? Because this is not cutting it. And you're gonna need some udon noodles. Just got this from the Asian supermarket. Um, it's just basic stir fry sauce. So that is what I'm gonna be doing. Oh, I only have a little bit. Can you guys see that? It's okay. This is juice, by the way. I'm gonna grab a pot. I'm gonna rip. <coughs> On. There we go, and it looks like that in there. Yep. So this is my meal. I have my gears in here. I put my noodles in here. Taste test. Alright, so here's our taste test. Hmm. Oh, that's hot. You can see the steam. Mmm. Let's have some turkey. Mm. Gears and axe. Yo. I did that. I did that. And you can do it too. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I know. Um, yeah, peace out. Bye. Hey guys, and welcome to this part of this video. Um, perhaps I should sit further back. Um, apologies if you hear like bare noise. Everyone's screaming in my house, so yeah. Um, today is the 30th. Today's the 30th of December. Um, the end of limbo so I mean we're getting closer to the end of limbo I think at this point this is when I start to realize we're going into a new year I like to start you know thinking about my new year's resolutions two days before new year's eve or a day before new year's eve because I feel like new year's eve is just a day to you know think actively about how you're going to put those plans into action so that's what I'm going to be doing today and I just thought I'd just use, you know, this downtime to reset and reflect. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get up my New Year's resolutions for the past couple of years. Um, for the past three years now, I have been using OneNote to make my New Year's resolutions. So I'm just going to get that up. If you guys are wondering, I've got some green tea in here. I have literally been trying to perfect my green tea recipe. I actually started it out doing like a whole iced green tea thing because I, I just can't drink coffee every single day. I used to make iced coffee every day in lockdown and I was just like, why don't we try something healthier? Because I put tons of milk, tons of sugar and everything to my iced coffee. So I was like, let's, you know, make it a bit simple so here i've got my peach lemon green tea um if you guys want the recipe let me know i would love to give you guys my recipe i think my second video or my third video on youtube was um like me talking about new year's resolutions it was a chatty get ready with me if you guys remember that you are ogs and you have been here for what I can say was 
literally the main ride of my life aside from university anyways while this is trying to sort itself out i'm just going to talk about one of the main things that happened in my life which you guys obviously know is youtube so i started youtube around i want to say around this time last year it was a bit daunting really and truly i just wanted to put up my holiday um vlog I thought I was somewhat of an editor, oh my goodness, now that I look back on the film, it's just, oh, I called it my memories of Nigeria, memories of a trip to Nigeria film. Looking back on it, I'm just like, oh, how sweet, <laughs> I was so quaint, but um, yeah, I just really wanted to put it out, I wanted my family in Nigeria to be able to watch it, I wanted my family abroad, because I didn't just have family in Nigeria, I have family, you know, different parts of Europe, the US, Canada all of that sort so i wanted them to all be able to have access to such a video and i just wanted my video to be out there and i said you know what why don't i just start to document things and i was like sure so i decided to document my freshers one i am a new youtuber um i literally film everything on my phone and you know i just i don't know i just felt like people would look at me weird i felt intimidated you know just having my phone out in you know random places public places as well as the fact that i was you know i'm already like i'm a bit of a shy person i mean i don't know now naturally i am introverted and I've worked to get myself to be more open to speaking to people. So lockdown has not helped me with my introvertedness. In fact, it's exacerbated it. I now get anxiety before I even go out. Like, anyways, we digress. And I filmed quite a bit and I made my uh, memories of the freshers as well. I made that into a little film and that was so much fun. And I fell in love with just documenting memories you know and i was like i could really find myself doing this and i kept on doing it and you know gradually i went from five subscribers to 10 to 20. i remember when i reached 50 subscribers and i was so excited i was like wow 50 people want to watch my videos like they actually dedicated to watch my videos i remember exactly getting 77 subscribers but as well when i was just about getting into the 100 subs i remember having 95 subscribers i was like subscribers and i was just like i just need five people to subscribe so i can get to 100 and all the while i was you know making and producing content i was like this is so cool i'm putting myself out there making new friends and youtube was really exciting for me i will actually say that it was the next best main thing that happened in my life honestly throughout the entire 2020 sure i had you know university which is the main thing if someone was to ask me what do you do i'm a student and then 2020 was also the year of covid19 but aside from that the other main thing was the fact that i did youtube and <laughs> what can i say at the point of this video there's 338 of you and i just wanted to say thank you guys so much for subscribing thank you guys so much for clicking on my videos watching them you know liking them sharing them with your family and friends like you have no obligation to me to do so and um i just wanted to say i appreciate you guys because it's like you're my friends it, um, it's, it's baffling to me that people actually want to you know listen to me and they're interested in me and yeah i just want to say thank you and i hope that i continue to produce more content and you know grow a bigger relationship with you guys and even more of you guys who will be subscribing in the future just thank you is really what i have to say so this is what I like to do. I like to go through and I tick them. Most times I tick off quite a few. I'm gonna take some time out to write and journal. I've got a new journal. It's a moleskin, if you guys can see that. And yeah, I'm so excited to 
be more aware i have been saying this since oh you guys are probably tired of hearing me say that but i am so 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 excited to be more aware be more in tune of myself i feel like i certainly did let myself go and i'm not gonna beat myself up about it 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 was a pandemic and it's okay it's okay to you know feel emotional it's okay to you know accept it like i just accepted it i felt so demotivated i was just like what's the point of doing anything and i think it's great that we're now at the point that it's a new year and hopefully things continue to change for the better to just conclude this video i just wanted to say thank you guys so much for you know watching thank you guys so much for commenting relating to me interacting with me and i hope you all take some time out to reflect and just reset before we enter the new year and um don't beat yourselves up if you haven't you know reached any of your new year's resolutions because there is cause for joy in every little thing every single little thing which you have accomplished whether it be waking up every day because that is something that many people weren't able to accomplish this year so that's the message i'm going to leave with you guys please don't forget to subscribe turn on your post notifications and um yeah i will see you guys in my very next video thank you guys so much for watching and bye